Well, hello there folks, David, your friendly hairy Scotsman here once again. Um, today I'm just going to do a wee food review. Uh, I was out the other day, I was in Asda, <coughs> and came across the, the cheap bit. Just change my glasses over here so I can actually read what I've got. Now, it says, you can do that, it's a tuna con... Chigley Bake. Can Chigley? Something like that. It's Italian inspired. Uh, rich tomato and cheese sauces with a sprinkling of mature cheddar cheese. Serves one. Um, 2,600 kilojoules. 28 grams of fat. 13 grams of saturates. Uh, 6 grams of sugars and 1.9 gram of salt. Hmm. Now, it was in the reduced bit. Originally, it was going to be £2.10. Then it had been reduced to £1.74. And I picked it up for... 40p! Can't go wrong at that, eh? So, we'll pull this off. Let's, ooh. Ooh, that looks quite interesting. It's quite nice, that. Um, I'm going to pop it in the microwave. So, there's an 800 watt, so it'll be four and a half minutes. Then leave it for a minute to stand. Take care when removing film lid, as hot steam will escape. Kind of worked that one out. Um, what's in it? Conchigli pasta, uh, water, tomatoes, tuna, 15% tuna apparently. Um, it's a katsuonis pelimis, pelimis, fish. Um, water, salt, mature cheddar cheese, 13%. Single cream, corn flour, blah blah, waffle, onions, garlic, puree, herbs, salt, sugar, mustard, English mustard at that. Uh, and some other bits and pieces. Looks alright. So, I'm going to peel back the edge on the, the top here. I prefer peeling them back than piercing them. It just gives you a bit more space and then when it's ready you give it a wee flick, let some of the steam out and you don't get burnt. Well, you don't get burnt as badly. So, what did I say it was? Five and a half minutes in the microwave. Right, the microwave is just behind me, sitting over there. So, pop it in. Five and a half minutes. That's it. Oh, that's it there again. Okay, so that's it in for five and a half minutes. Um, I won't bore you too much with me sitting here waffling about nothing. Um, so I'll be back in what will seem to you like a second or two. Wow, that's hot. Right, let's have a wee peek at this. So, turn you around like a wee bit and pop you down onto there so you can see what it looks like. A bit tighter up. Now, this is where it could get interesting. Scrape off the cheese because we don't want to waste any of the cheese. Ooh, it actually looks like it's got some colour on it as well. Hot. That actually looks rather nice. So 
I'll just leave it to stand for a minute, but let's just move it about a wee bit. Stir it in. Ooh, loads of sauce under there. Loads of tuna. Look at this. It smells very tuna -y. If that's actually a word, tuna -y. Absolute pile of tuna in here. That actually looks quite nice. It smells really nice. If it tastes like it smells, I'll be happy. Alright, let's have a little taste of this. again and tilt this back up a bit so unfortunately you'll be looking at me I will when I sit down again there we go pull you in a wee touch I am back down just a little bit there we go I'm not just at the table at the moment I'm sitting at the bunker Tell you something that is really hot, but taste a wee bit of the pasta. That pasta is actually cooked really nice. You know, I don't get it. We put it in the mic food in the microwave, get it really hot, and then we take it out and blow on it. Try a bit more of this fish. There we go. That was actually cold. I don't know how it goes the rest of it, it was absolutely steaming. Quite a good mix. You can even see where it's burnt around the edges there a wee bit. Try that. That's better, it must have just been a wee bit stuck right in the middle or something like that. Um, so, ow. so outside of the tub's actually really hot. Um, let's get a good wee chunk of it here. Get my thumbnail ready. I tell you something, that is really nice. The pasta is really well cooked. Normally if you stick pasta in the microwave it'll go soggy or it'll go really hard but that's just nice in between. Um, nice little lump of it here, let's try this. cheese on the top of the pasta it's almost like it's been in the oven you know when it toughens up that little bit it's like I've got that chew to it which is how I, I absolutely love it like that to be honest um, the tuna really tastes nice it's got a lovely uh, tuna -y taste you know some fish don't really taste so much some fish have got a really mild taste. Uh, tuna is usually that wee bit stronger. There's my phone whistling at me again. Um, this is really nice. The cheese, you can really taste the cheese on it. It's quite a strong cheddar by the taste of it. Um, should I say strong cheddar? Mature cheddar. <coughs> Which works absolutely ideal for me. I absolutely love it. Um, would I get this again? At full price, £2.10. 
Um, maybe. I'd have to be really fancy in it though. I mean, you can do it yourself for next to nothing. Uh, you can rattle up a quick cheese sauce easily. A couple of handfuls of pasta. Open up a tin of tuna. You could make it yourself probably for what? Pound, pound twenty at the very most, and you'd get a lot more. Um, I mean, you could probably do for four what it costs for a wee tub of one, um, and it's really easy to make. So, would I take it again at 40p? Yeah, I'd bung it in the freezer like I did there. I mean, I went up, I must have just hit it at the right time. They just reduced a load of food, it was going out of date that day. And I picked up an absolute pile of this stuff. The trolley I had was full. Um, came home, put it on the freezer. I spent £24.80 on all this food. I added all up what the actual true prices would have been, and it would have been £78. I mean, you wonder how they can do it. I think they just want, well, they do just want short, want rid of it all. Um, but £78 for under 25. Now, there's a seven and a half. And there's so much of it in the freezer still. There's chicken pieces, there's, uh, there was meat, you know, sliced meat. There was ready meals like this. Um, there was loads of stuff. And if the rest of it is as good as this, it'll be brilliant. We've had some of the cold meat already, we've defrosted that. Um, had it on sandwiches, put it into, put what was left into a curry. Um, and it was lovely, it was, uh, it was a tikka uh, chicken. And we've got some sweet chilli chicken there as well. So that'll be absolutely amazing on a sandwich. Or even just uh, throwing through some pasta. So, always keep your eye out for that little yellow label. Um, I take it the yellow labels in other uh, shops as well. I mean, the most of the ones that I find are, um, and save yourself a fortune and get some decent food. There's no reason uh, not to buy food, you know, that's on its sell-by date if you throw it in the freezer. It'll last another six months easily, most of it, and just eat through it as you can. So you get some really good food for next to nothing. So. I'll head off, I'll finish this off, and uh, hopefully talk to you all soon. Hope you're all keeping well, still not going too mad, still in lockdown up here in Scotland, not really allowed to travel more than five miles, um, but I know a lot of people are kind of bending those rules a little bit. Um, if you are starting to enjoy my videos, or even if it's your first time here and you'd like to see some more of them, I would really, really appreciate it if you hit that red subscribe button. And if you want YouTube to sometimes tell you when I'm putting up videos, because at the moment they're really not doing it as well as they should be. Um, if you hit the bell icon and put it for all activations or all uploads or whatever it is, it would be really greatly appreciated. <coughs> I know I'm asking a lot here, but if you could hit that like button as well, it would be really kind of you. So I'll talk to you all soon, take care of yourselves, and um, see ya.